Today's video is all about Christmas. What does Christmas mean to me? Well, the older I get, the more I begin to see how commercialized Christmas is every year. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know every year I realize how expensive Christmas is. What do I do? I don't have a lot of money, but I somehow, and this is like anybody else I think nowadays, somehow, I still find ways to buy my friends, family, extended family, presents. Because growing up, I always got presents every year, so I thought, hey, this must be normal. Unfortunately, with how expensive the economy is getting, with how expensive it is to live in general, most of the time, financial stress is what eats all of us up, right? It doesn't matter if we have not an, not an eventful, exciting life, but at the end of the month, we're still paying bills. Financial stress is what gets the better of us. But somehow, every year, on the 25th of December, we open gifts, we receive gifts, we get gifts. Somehow, even the brokest person will go to their local money mart and get their family gifts. Somehow, we do this. Why? Well, I think it's because what Christmas, what we've, our interpretation of Christmas is, right? A lot of us think, hey, Christmas is a time of year to give, 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 give. Receive, 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 give, you know? Why? You know, this year... I realized something, and I'm going to put this to the test next year. I'm going to do this Christmas of 2017. I'm going to do this. But first, let me show you what I'm talking about. I realized this in yesterday's video. I'm going to roll the clip right now. I realized that I shouldn't have to get presents, that my presence of being alive, my presence of seeing the person. When I mean presence, I mean when you're actually there with them, not a physical gift. My presence should be a gift in itself. So what am I going to do next year? I'm still going to get presents, but next year, all of my presents are going to be handmade. Probably cookies, probably something I can bake with the wife and kids, probably something that we can all make, maybe a craft. Because the number one thing you hear and the number one thing we say here on YouTube is the best present is the one that's handmade. Like the present I got from Judy Lehman this year. She made me a little craft for the tree. That blew my mind. I don't think she had to buy anything. And if she did, she probably spent very little. And it still made its way to my P.O. box, my mailbox. And I could physically hold it and touch it. Right? Versus if I gotten Judy, you know, maybe a camera or a memory card... It would only work so long. Everything is destined to stop working. But a Christmas tree ornament, that can work for life. Every year I can bring it out of the box and hang it back up. Doesn't that just amaze you? And like I said, she probably had to spend very little for that. But it still meant a lot because it came from the heart, you know? And I realize I'm not looking at the camera. Sorry. <laughs> I'm new to this whole putting you on a tripod and looking in the general direction. So... Next year, for 2017, all my gifts from my friends, family, are going to be handmade. Granted, I will probably still get two gifts from my kids, one gift each, but everything else will be handmade. And I remember, right? We all remember growing up. We all remember getting those cool gifts. Some of us got lame gifts, but they were still gifts. And when I mean lame gifts, I mean the gifts you got but you didn't really need or want, you know? It's like, I wanted a video game, but I guess this sidewalk chalk will do. Wow. It really shows you just how commercialized Christmas is. So my question to you to wrap up this video is, how do you feel? What does Christmas mean to you? Does it mean presents or does it mean just visiting friends and family? I, if I was to go visit my buddy Blaine in Grand Prairie, I definitely would not bring him a gift. I would just show up and give him a hug. That's a great gift of its own. Sounds cheesy. Doesn't sound manly. But I would still give him a hug. Just let him know, hey buddy, guess what? We made it another year around the sun. And I still have a good friend like you. You know? Get, Christmas isn't about gifts. It's about spending time with your friends, your family, people that have made a difference in your life. Heck, for my birthday, my ex-co-worker... Scotty, I knew him as Uncle Scotty because we worked in the same radio station. He was a morning show host. That guy didn't give me a present. You know what he did? He sent me a message on Facebook that said, Hey, JR, happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. That really made my day. 
I was like, really? You just sent me a message? You, you acknowledged my existence? I, I, I was amazed. And I don't know if it's because I'm 25 and I have, uh, 26 now, holy man. It's, I don't know if it's because I'm 26 and I have kids of my own and I'm beginning to learn this from an adult perspective with kids, but uh, I think Christmas should be a time where you just hang out with friends. Christmas is a time to say, hey guys, guess what? We made it another year. We're here. That is awesome. I love you guys. And above all, I enjoy your company out there in YouTube land. I do this because of you. I, I wanted to quit YouTube several times this year, but I've made so many great friends that YouTube for me, it's now a lifestyle. I love making videos. I love hanging out with you. You know, I have more online friends this year than I do physical real friends. I don't hang out with anybody in Southern Alberta. And the guy I just met a few months ago, two months ago, Connor Hines, he's, he's a YouTuber, but one day we'll become good buddies. We're still trying to figure out when to get together, you know? But Connor met me because of a video. He's typed in Red Deer Vlogger on YouTube, and I was the one who showed up. And he saw me, and he approached me, and that's just great, you know? This is an online world we're getting into, and that's a whole other video story. But uh, thank you so much for watching my video. If you really enjoyed it, somehow you made it to the end. I didn't bore you to death. Hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the Bjarnson clan. And how you can become a member is just by subscribing. Go to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so whenever I upload videos, you get a notification. That would mean the world to me. You click the bell icon, and you, say, and you um, click send me all notifications. Anyway. You can follow me on Snapchat if you want to get a dose of JR. I often upload 10-second video clips there at least once every two, three hours. And uh, it's my Snapchat code is bjarnson9997. That's B-J-O-R-N-S-O-N-9997. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comments, what does Christmas mean to you? When you think of Christmas, what do you do? What do you think about? What do you have?